What is going on, my beautiful, lovely, powerful creators? How are we all doing today? I hope we're all getting our manifestations. If you are new here, my name is Erin, and I am here to help you get your shit through all things law of assumption. Oh my god, it's freaking beautiful out here, guys. Can you manifest multiple things at once? I see this question all the time, and I want to preface this by first saying, you can and you do every single day because like i've said before like anyone will tell you you are manifesting constantly no matter what you can't stop manifesting it's not a choice that is just how it works to live your life everything is a manifestation so if you can subconsciously do it then you can consciously do it as well is it better when you're consciously manifesting to focus on one thing at a time and then get that then move on to the next that's where it kind of becomes more up to you don't forget that the only one that's creating these rules, the only one that is creating anything is yourself. Whatever feels good to you is what you should be doing. If you feel better when you focus on one thing and you want to focus on one thing and then get that and then put your full focus on the next desire, that is completely okay. But if you are someone who is manifesting multiple things and these are all of great importance to you and you can't decide which one is the most important that you want to work on first, there are a couple of different ways that you can manifest all things at once. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I want to give you the rundown on what Neville kind of says about this and also what my formula is for manifesting multiple things at once. I feel like, you know, as human beings, we constantly have desires. I have a multitude of different areas of things that I know I want to improve and that I know I want to work on. And then as soon as I get those things, I'm moving on to multiple other things. And I think that it's important to live like that anyway. Rather than focusing on one single desire all the time, this can also take the pressure off of just focusing on that one desire. Now, I like to take my biggest two things and focus on those. And then when I get one of those, I'll drop one and add another one. When you are manifesting multiple things, you still need to saturate your mind with each of these things. What I would suggest and what I do personally is I take about a week to fully saturate myself on one desire and one desire only. After that week, I start to notice that I am affirming this one thing in my head without even realizing I'm doing it. Like I'll catch myself affirming it. That is kind of when I know, let me now saturate my mind with the next thing. And I do that one for about a week. Then by the end of that second week, I catch myself randomly thinking about and affirming for both of those desires. So we're never dropping one. What you focus on grows. Now it's like week three and I can affirm for both. I can listen to subliminals for both. During sats at night, which is, in my opinion, one of the most important techniques to be doing to get your desire, during sats at night, I do sats for both of these things. Okay, sorry, I was waiting for that dog to stop barking and then it turned into nighttime. Doing sats is probably the most important technique that you can do. When I do sats, I can get my manifestation in days. It is so powerful. So when we're doing sats and we're manifesting multiple things, I want you to be doing a sats routine that implies both things. So when you're doing sats, you are meant to be creating like a five second scene that you loop and loop and loop and loop and loop. If you can't visualize or if you don't want to visualize because you know the main point is to fall asleep while doing this technique. I personally have just always played little movies in my head like that. But there are some times when I am so damn tired that I don't want to. So you can affirm. You can affirm yourself into sleep. With the example of you're manifesting a job and you're manifesting an SP, do a sats visual such as imagine you're sitting in SP's house and you're on your phone checking your email. Then all of a sudden you see an email that says, congratulations, you got the job. Then you look up at him or her and you say, babe, I just got the job. 
then they look at you and say, oh my God, I'm so proud of you. I love you and give you a kiss. That's a five second scene that that would happen in. And you loop it over and over and over, but it's insinuating that you got a job and you got your man. The affirmation route would be to affirm one sentence because I like to just do one affirmation. I don't like to do too many because then my brain's working too much. One affirmation. My SP is so proud of me for getting this job. I don't know, simple, anything like that. Now this is just my way, you don't have to do it this way. Another easy way that you can affirm for multiple things at once is to do a blanket affirmation. Personally, I've just never really liked using blanket affirmations. The only time I ever use them is if my day is kind of going not so great and then I start saying everything in my life is perfect, everything in my life is perfect. There is a blanket affirmation in the manifestation community that is extremely popular. This one was from Neville Goddard and it's, isn't it wonderful? And isn't it wonderful is just implying that something wonderful is happening. That's very beneficial for everyone because what you deem wonderful in this particular moment and what I deem wonderful is just whatever our desires are. This affirmation was created by Neville when a girl came to him and said she needed so many things. Her life was just not it. So he told her to use the blanket affirmation, isn't it wonderful? And then once she did that, all these things started coming in. A way to really make this one even more powerful and work quickly would be to do it like a list method. So write down a list, everything that would make my life perfect then write down everything that would make your life perfect then you can just simply affirm everything in my life is perfect everything in my life is perfect read that list once a day twice a day when you wake up and before bed everything in my life is perfect throughout the entire day i'm telling you to write it down as a list because this will help you really get clear and get real with yourself on what you want whatever way you decide to do it it doesn't matter whatever one feels the best for you that's going to be the way that it works for you just remember that we are not changing anything we're not changing our circumstances we are just shifting we are shifting our realities think of it as this think of a a bunch of bubbles and in the center there's one bubble that is i am and that is you that is your consciousness i am and all the bubbles all around are different options and different realities that you get to choose from we are just shifting into different bubbles and manifesting everything you want at once is instead of going from I am Aaron now I am Aaron who is a professional singer now I am Aaron who is a professional singer and I'm married to why did I want to say George Clooney <laughs> what the fuck? okay I guess I'm married to George Clooney now I am Aaron, who is a professional singer, married to George Clooney, and I make a million dollars a day. Instead of going through all these different realities, like hopping, we can just skip all that and just hop straight into I am Aaron. Now I am Aaron, who is married to George Clooney, and I'm a professional singer, and I'm making a million dollars a day. We don't have to do all these extra steps. You can if you want. You're more than welcome to. But you don't have to. Because we're not sitting there changing our conditions and changing our circumstances piece by piece by piece. We are just shifting. It is all about shifting. And you have infinite possibilities waiting for you. Your I am consciousness, your highest possible God self is like standing on the opposite side of the door, grabbing the door frame and shaking and rattling it and saying, let me in, let me in. If you just open this door, you can see all of these possibilities that are meant for you, but you just have to open the door and see and choose. There is so much waiting for you if you just open the door. So pause for a second. Take a deep breath in, hold it, and let it out. And repeat after me. Everything is instantly changing into my highest timeline right now. Everything is instantly changing into my highest timeline right now. 
it's already done, baby. It's already done, baby. It's already done, baby. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that professional singer moment. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below any questions, comments, concerns, what have you. And definitely come back if you have any success with these techniques and let me know. And I will see you guys in a future video. Okay, bye.